Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new triple recessive clutch that we wanna share with you guys. We love these genetic stripe enhancer clowns. And then we're saying goodbye to one of our most iconic snakes. Let's dive in. So we're start out showing this awesome triple recessive clutch and actually this one is from the clutch and this is from a previous clutch but we're going to break down how amazing the desert ghost g-stripe clown really is all right so we have two here just to kind of break down the genetics a little bit this one is from the same clutch this is a Desert Ghost, these are actually enhancer line, but they're still Desert Ghost, right? Completely compatible. Desert Ghost Spot Nose G Stripe, and it is Het Clown. This guy has a little bit of just really amazing kind of thick, heavy pattern. This is what the Spot Nose adds to the G Stripe. You guys are probably used to seeing a G Stripe with a really clean stripe all the way down. This one's a little broken up, but the really heavy edging all the way down kind of the extra blacks and boldness is really what the spot nose adds. Now, actually the first one of these was made by Ben Rennick all those years ago, the spot nose G-stripe, and it was absolutely amazing. So now we're looking at a couple G-stripe clowns without the Desert Ghost. This is a regular G-stripe clown. Now the G-stripe clown was first made by Kevin Bluefort, uh, and he called it a Kiki Ball, and it is named after his daughter. It's a really, really amazing combination. I still remember the very first time he showed me one of these. We did a short clip of it in Tinley, and the G-Stripe Clown is known for these really cool, kind of like hourglass, kind of banding a little bit. I always thought this would be amazing because you have, of course, the stripe of a G-Stripe and the black back of a clown. It's kind of weird, the interaction, because it splits it in half and you end up with some amazing kind of, it's like the G-stripe black back has been pushed down the body all along the edges. When you add the spot nose in there, it changes the color of it significantly. And it also adds a lot of this, almost those teardrops that you typically would see in a clown. And it gives it like a tiger pattern look. So you still have the stripe, you still have the hourglasses kind of being pushed down the side, but you have, they come all the way down into a really cool tiger stripe. So where this all adds to is these amazing animals, both G-stripe clown combos are really amazing, but we wanted to make them really bright and just absolutely gorgeous. So that's where the Desert Ghost comes in. All right, so with Desert Ghost, you see the color change is absolutely amazing. You go from the beautiful, but really kind of dark and busy regular G-stripe clown to a Desert Ghost G-stripe clown, a triple recessive, and you can clearly see the effect of all three genes. You have a really amazing pattern, of course, from the G-Stripe Clown, but the brightness has just been brought up and it's ultra, ultra clean. Really, it's one of the best triple recessives in my mind because you have complete clarity of all three genes. None of them are covering up the other ones. You can see them all beautifully together. So our goal with this project, and we actually made the first one just a couple years ago, was to add the spot nose in there because of the crazy pattern the spot nose adds. So this is the spot nose Desert Ghost G-Stripe Clown and we'll unwrap it and take a look at them side by side. All right, so now we have them side by side and you can see how much more pattern the spot nose gives it. Of course, this color is also a little different with the spot nose, just like it was in the non-Desert Ghost version, but just the amount of black edging and hourglasses and then the teardrops coming down, the spot nose version is really, in my opinion, the most amazing G-Stripe clown combo we've made so far. Now the leopard version is also amazing. We've seen that as well. We're all kind of hitting on how we can make the G-Stripe clown with really, really unique and interesting patterns and uh, then also bring all the color out with the Desert Ghost to create kind of the perfect, perfect look. So in this clutch, we actually were had amazing, amazing odds. And this one's being a little spicy right now. Amazing odds, we ended up with a few of the Spot Nose Desert Ghost G-Stripe Clowns. And then also we got one without Spot Nose too. So it's awesome when you have kind of the comparison. They're absolutely gorgeous. And again, we've only made one of these, I think, or maybe two of these prior to this, and then to get such amazing odds on one clutch, that's what it's all about. It's, you feel very, very lucky the day these hatch. What an amazing handful of triple recessives. All right, guys, so this is a very, very, I wouldn't even say bittersweet. It's a little bitter moment because we are letting go one of our most iconic combos ever. This is the original 
Pompeii. You guys are always wanting to see adult pictures. Now, he's a little bit in shed for this picture, but you can see as an adult, he definitely does not have as red a color as those babies, but he still looks really, really good. When he first hatched him, it was such a, I don't know, such a, such a unique kind of watershed moment for the clown project because this animal is what kicked off the craze for the spot nose combos that kind of went wild for a while, especially with yellow belly. So he paved the way for, of course, the Krakens, crazy hurricane combos we've made lately, some of the confusion combos. Spot nose yellow belly is the base that essentially made this animal great. Of course, it made everybody want red stripe as well because it added so much rusty red, but it was the spot nose and the yellow belly and the black pastel that gave us this amazing base to work off of. Iconic snake, it'd be really sad to see him go. If there's any clutch that's gonna do it, it's it's this one. We just got we just gotta really put all our eggs in this one basket. This is gonna be the clutch that really shows us where it's at for this project. And I can finally show the amazing result of that clutch. Can't believe it. Just very, very fortunate that it worked out the way it did. Let's check out that animal now. Color and the pattern of this animal is just pure insanity. It also shows off what can be done with clowns in general, the fact that we're really just scratching the surface. I don't care how many years we've been working on this and making different things, we're so far from done, guys. We got so much to do. Thankfully, we have some of his amazing offspring. He was the foundation for, again, so many of those amazing combos in the next few years, including the Krakens. But really, it's his son that's gonna take his place here, the Hurricane Pompeii. We're gonna show you an update on how the Hurricane Pompeii has grown. He's absolutely phenomenal and definitely a good homage to the original. So I do wanna give a shout out to the new owner of this snake and all the amazing stuff he's gonna make for in the future. It's going to Finest Pythons in South Korea and he has bought some amazing animals from the last few years and I think this one takes the cake. This is definitely the most famous animal that he's ever bought from us and we're really excited to see him work with it. Okay, so we promised to show you the Hurricane Pompeii. This is the boy he just started breeding for us. This is the son of the original Pompeii, of course, to a hurricane and he is just absolutely phenomenal. Actually took it to the next level. The only combo I've seen that's on this level was one, I'll give JSA a shout out. He made the special Pompeii, which probably the very best Pompeii ever made. These are just incredible and the project lives on and just gets better and better as do all the ball python combos. I can't wait till someday we get to say this one's moving on and we have the next wild, wild thing from the Pompeii project. All right, guys, we're going to miss the Pompeii so much. It's sad to see him go, but we know that he's going into some amazing hands overseas. So this weekend, we're actually hosting our Patreon VIP open house exciting event we do every year. And the next video we bring you is going to be all about what it's like to visit the facility and look through all of our amazing animals. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Thanks so much.